Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a Linux development board. It's by a company called uh, Mir. And uh, what that stands for is Make Your Idea Real. And this particular board is the MYDAM335X. And the link will be down in the description because that rolls right off the tongue. So I just, uh, I'm going to talk about the board a little bit. Uh, maybe show you some software with it and uh, give you the outline of the layout of the board. So, so let's talk about um, the first CPU module, which is this entire board here. It actually has um, 512 megabytes of NAND flash, and that, that, that's local storage, and then the uh, Cortex A8, um, and two 256 DDR3s. So 512 megs of RAM, and then here we have um, HDMI 1.4 B, and we have 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jacks, and then this is out and this is in, um, and having those separated is pretty nice. So um, here you're familiar with, I'm sure it's USB 2.0, uh, four ports, and this is a USB um, mini not micro but mini USB mini and here uh, we have two programmable switches and then this circle is uh, for battery and it's a battery backup for the real-time clock so this jumper here is actually the boot configuration or boot order priority and is what that does is that allows you to by moving this jumper allows you to boot from this local NAND storage or this um, TF card or the as you know it the the um, micro SD card slot so um, you can choose it by swapping this jumper uh, you can actually choose which one to boot from so uh, I thought that was a pretty good feature uh, pretty simple and then um, this port here is an RS240 or uh, I'm sorry RS485 this is a RS45 connector um, and if you look that up, this is a great connector, and I'll show that to you. So, and then um, moving on to the switch here, kind of hidden. This is a reset switch, so that's just the reset. And here's the uh, the power connector. And here's the this port here is the the 2.1 uh, millimeter 5 volt DC power, so it powers the board. And these two ports are the two giga, gigabit Ethernet ports, so one gigabit each. And then two serial ports. And here's the GPIO pin, so uh, for instance, extent interface, so you, you could do ADC. So ADC, SPI, um, UDART, I2C, all from, the, from these pins here. And then th these two uh, connectors, one would be the, uh, is the actual touch screen interface. So this is, it would be for TFT. Uh, and this would be the ribbon cable for the, the actual monitor. So you could actually install an LCD on here. And they actually do have an option for an LCD. Um, down here you have some LEDs. So we have LED connectivity and uh, different mode settings here. And then we have an LED configuration actually right here on this, on the, on the CPU module. So I just thought I'd talk about the layout of the board. I'm actually going to install, I'm going to install QT and run through some hardware accelerations in just a minute and I'll go through that with you guys just so you can see um, if you have any questions uh, after this video so let me know. Let me know. See you in a minute. Okay we're at the console now and is what I have loaded is their their Linux image and it's showing QT and it's up and running uh, showing 3D acceleration um, one of the differences though is I actually had to move a jumper by the micro SD card slot so that it would it would boot from the micro SD card instead of the NAND so um, it would actually it's the board is really well marked and the documentation that they provide uh, they give you a CD-ROM and it's got all your files, all the tools necessary, all the paths so I just wanted to show you what 3D acceleration looked like on this board and it seems to run really well um, also I've got a subreddit uh, r forward slash linux boards 
And uh, also check out my Facebook group, uh, Linux Development Boards. And uh, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe and um, give me a like. Have a good day, guys.